The racing minister has asked for options for shutting down the greyhound racing industry. It follows another report that highlighted slow progress on meeting animal welfare standards. But a call on whether the sport will be banned won't happen until after the election. Investigations correspondent Michael Mora has the story. Round it comes. A day at the dogs in Addington, but Racing Dogs Days could be numbered. This just released report by the Racing Integrity Boards found the industry's making slow progress in five out of 15 key areas. As Racing Minister, is that acceptable? Uh, I. I'm, really, I'm being really careful about what I say here because I've just literally stood up and said that I want to uh, give people the space to draw their own conclusions. And now I'm asked a question to, to express my own opinion on that. That's important though, the public want to know. Well, they're going to know very shortly because I have to make a recommendation to Cabinet as to what we do. But that recommendation likely won't be on the agenda until after the election. It does appear to be a cop-out. It's, it's politically expedient, I guess. We've got a general election approaching and it's hard to see any reason why the, the minister wouldn't ban greyhound racing. People shouldn't see this as kicking the can down the road. People should see this as the final stages of a process that's going to determine whether they can continue or whether they'll be closed. The Integrity Board has given the Minister options for shutting the sport down at his request. But for now, the industry is on notice again, after first being put on notice a year and a half ago by then Racing Minister Grant Robertson. This is the fourth report into the greyhound racing industry over the past decade and all of them have raised serious concerns about animal welfare issues. The latest RIB report found injuries continue to trend upwards. The industry has been slow to respond to track safety concerns. The RIB is not confident the industry's Animal Welfare Committee is independent. And while significant progress has been made on reducing euthanasias, there's an urgent need to improve data to understand the outcomes for dogs that end up in rehoming programs. Our message is very clear. There should be no more chances for the industry. They've failed to live up to the societal expectations. But the industry says the RIB's report shows considerable progress. Our industry's primary focus remains animal and participant welfare, and we will continue to strive for continuous improvement. It would be incorrect for people to assume that the foot is being taken off the throat here. But for now, race meetings like this will continue until the election is done, at least. Michael's with us now. Kia ora, Michael. So the greyhound industry has said in a statement it's pleased with the report. Yeah, that's right, Mike. The industry has essentially pointed to the fact that out of 15 performance areas, it's meeting the standards in 10 of them. However, the areas where progress is slow are not new, and these are things like injury rates, track safety, and ensuring that trainers understand the greyhound racing rules. Now, the head of the RIB told me well over a year ago of his concerns, this is Mike Clement, the CEO of the RIB, of his concerns about all of these areas, and yet today we still have problems. And that isn't great for optics, if you think about it, because the public has heard so much about issues in the greyhound racing industry over many years. There's been talk of taking action, and yet even at this stage, nothing tangible has happened. Mm, thank you very much for joining us here at the table. That's Investigations Correspondent Michael Morrow.